Hi guys, it's Kristen here, and this is your 10 minute thigh workout. So all you need is a set of weights. I'm using four kg dumbbells. You can use any weight that's appropriate for you or none at all. You can do this as a body weight exit routine if you'd like. And we're also using Gym Boss to make sure we are done on 10 minutes. And it's 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest for 10 rounds. So um, get yourselves ready to go. If you wanna grab some weights really quick, go do that. And our first exercise is a squat to cat raise. So pick up your weights, feet just a little bit wider than hip width apart, feet in parallel. We're gonna drop our hips right back, drop the hips down, squeeze up, and then lift onto the balls of your feet for that cat raise. So it's down, straighten, and lift. Down, straighten, and lift. So we're really taking a deep squat today to make sure you activate your glutes. So make sure those knees don't go over your toes, and that you really sit your hips back. Good. I want you to keep the weight in your heels, that's gonna help you. Feeling you're pressing your knees out a little bit as well. Go to do 10 seconds. Okay, you're gonna pop the weights onto your shoulders here and take your feet nice and wide. So your toes are facing the corners of your room. You're just gonna bend your knees. We're gonna hold the sumo squat. Now from here, we're gonna go down one inch and up an inch. Down an inch and up an inch. So you can probably feel that burn already. This is gonna be the longest 50 seconds ever. All right, so the weight just adds a little bit more intensity to the move. I'm sure you can feel that if you've got weight. Good. So keep it small. Don't make it too big. It's not a squat and release. It's that tiny little lift and lower. Working within one inch. Really feel those inner thighs, the glutes. Keep pressing those knees out and lengthen the legs. Step over into kind of the middle of your mat. We're gonna take lateral lunges. Side to side. So we're gonna step over, kind of take the weight down to your foot, and then press back up. And then over to the other side. So on that lateral lunge, I want you to press off the side of your foot. I'm kind of giving myself a little maneuver. Since I don't have the biggest of spaces, but that's okay. It shows that you can do your workout anywhere. And you don't have to have a huge space. Make it work for you because your workout counts. go into single leg deadlifts. So again, I'm going to just transfer my weight onto my right foot. I'm going to take the weights right in front of me, bending my left knee. I'm just going to hinge forward at the hips, take my left heel up to the ceiling, and then come back up to standing. So I'm staying on a soft knee. It's not a straight leg at all. So we're just hinging forward. Forward and back. If you're finding it hard to keep your balance, you can bring your foot down in between, catch your balance. Keep your chest lifted. Good 
job. Waiting for that beat. And there it is. So you can drop your weights if you want to, otherwise, just hang on to them. What we're going to do is step back on the left foot. You're going to take a reverse lunge for four, three, two, one. Step it in for four, three, two, single leg squat. Step it back, hold four, three, two, one. Step it in, push those hips back. Three, two, one. Step it back for four, three, two, one. Step it in for three. I'm barely putting any weight on that toe. Drop the back down four, three, two, one. Step in four. Three, two, feel that firm. You have four. Three, two, one, and in. Three, two, one, step back four. Three, two, one, step in four. Three, two, one. Like that leg. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take out that side and you feel that leg jumping. All right. All your way down to your left foot. Step the right foot back, drop the knee down, chest is up, four, three, two, one, step it in, single leg squat, three, two, one, step it back, four, three, two, one, step in, four, three, keep pushing your hip back, up, four, three, two, one, step in, four, three, two, one, step it back, four, three, two, one, and in. Three, two, one. You're doing really good, guys. Keep it going. I know you can feel that burn now. And if you're not, you need to get deeper in that lunge and single leg squat. Press through the heel. Press through the heel. Woo! All right, come back up. Whoa, you're going to have a good shake. Curvy squats. Somebody's stepping one foot behind, drop the knee down, and up. Keep a little turn out through your hips. So that way your knees are just pressing out and over your middle toe. Drop that back and down to the floor. And because this is just a thigh routine, I don't even want you to think about the arms and the upper body. I just want you to think of keeping your chest lifted and belly in. Good job. You got two more after this. You're doing really well. All right, guys. Now we're gonna come down to your mat and place your weights down. If you want to fold your mat in half, if you have a thin mat like me, you can do that. So. From here, tuck the tailbone under a little bit. We're just gonna lift up and down. Lift up and down. So I'm really squeezing my glutes, keeping the tailbone tucked under. I'm lifting up, up and down. Up and down. Just so you can see that from the side. It's here. So we're pressing forward. Lengthening through this hip so I can squeeze those glutes, lower it down. Keep the tub and tuck under. It's like a matrix, yeah? That's it. Woo! Good. You should feel those sides burning now. All right. Final one. You have a 50 second wall squat. I should have mentioned before, make sure you've got a wall. Find your wall. Slide down it and then walk your feet forward so you're in a chair. And you can kind of keep your feet just in line with your sit bones. And that's it. Just press against the wall. Keep your hands on your thighs and make sure that your knees are in line with your hips. Keep that posture. Those thighs are on fire already, so this is not easy. If the thighs start to shake, Stay there and fight through it and let it shake. Mine are starting to shake. Oh, you can see it going. Come on, stay there. Stay there. This is 
what happens when you train hard. Come on, guys. Oh! Wow. That was a complete thigh burn. Well done if you completed that. If your thighs were shaking, by the end of this routine, write in the comment box below. If they weren't, try to get deeper on all of those exercises, those squats, those lunges. They are fierce. Well done and good job today.